Speaking of Susie Homemaker, have you seen this, like, whole... <laughs> Well, it's twofold. <laughs> this whole, they're called, like, trad wives. I think it's stands mm, for, like, mm-hmm. traditional wives. Yeah. Like, thing going around. But now there's this whole thing where they're, the trad wives are becoming unironically woke. Oh, like, they're figuring it out? Yeah. But they don't make the connection as to that oh, they're becoming woke. Oh, okay. That's the okay. unironic part. Okay. Or, it's kind of ironic. ironic? Yeah. <laughs> By Alanis Morissette's definition, definitely. I think by the dictionary definition, it's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> but yeah, I can't, I get what you're saying, though it's confusing. But yeah, so they're not realizing that they're becoming they're woke, feminists. Yeah, but they just are because it fucking blows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, and this it, is like five G feminism, <laughs> literally. And and they're like making these videos, like as if. It's like, did you see <laughs> the video? This is a jump, but the video of the woman who was like, I invented a new thing. It's called Flat Taco. Yeah, and he's like, Tostadas! Christina Columbus over here trying to find shit that's already been found! <laughs> yes. Like, she was so good, fucking she serious. She was so sincere, and he was it's just like, like, like the, Mr. Like, just backwards hat, yeah. like, neck tattoo, so Christina Columbus, like, it's so funny, so effective. Oh my god, it was so good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also just like, there's part of me that's like, how the fuck did this dude find this chick on his speed in order to bring us this joyous union I of mean, stitched video? The internet when not a cesspool is really an amazing place. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of horrifying things. I'm going to read you this thing that I literally jumped out of my fucking skin when I read this this morning. Oh my god, uh, you said you were going to read me something I haven't seen, and I, <laughs> just from that, I'm like 99.9% sure of what you're about to read me. Oh, okay. You probably got the news notification. <laughs> uh, or it was, it was also on the news. Oh, maybe. It also was on the news in California because I was telling my mom about it, and she was like, oh my god, it was on our news. I saw it. Well, I'm, I kind of hope that it's not the same I know, because I didn't know. Like, you know, like, it can get me back. Giant parachuting Joro spiders expected to arrive in New York and New Jersey this summer. <laughs> Did you see the pictures? Did you see how big they get? Oh, I saw videos. Oh my god. Yeah. It's been on... Local news. It's been on national news. It's made all the all the like parachuting. Runs. They parachute. They're flying spiders. They're flying spiders, and they are the size of the palm of your hand. Yeah, they reach with their legs like uh, around four inches. Their body is like fucking Still massive. Still like a giant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. Mm-mm. And they're so <sighs> creepy looking. But apparently, they're not at all dangerous because they, like, don't bite humans and, like, their venom, like, doesn't affect humans. I know. They're just scary AF. Yeah. I still don't want it in my no. life or uh-huh. my state. So apparently, they were in, I want to say it was Pennsylvania last year. Okay. They're from Asia originally. Yeah, and I, I heard know. that they were in the South. Yeah. They've been in the South for, like, ten years. Yeah. And so last year they get made their way up to Pennsylvania. So now apparently they're parachuting in. <laughs> That's why I don't like going to the another reason why I don't like going to the South or Pennsylvania. Like I don't want to go either of those places for other reasons. These giant parachuting spiders were the icing on the cake, and now they're coming. They're invading. And then on top of it, uh, we've got lantern flies back. Oh yeah, those things are fucking creepy. Yeah, the cicadas. The cicadas. Two different species of cicadas. One that, well, like, one comes out in seven years and one comes out in ten, and, like, they've, the numbers finally lined up Great. so that they're both emerging at the same time, and, and they've already started emerging because climate change, they're early. It's just a bug apocalypse. It's a bug apocalypse. It's like, we, we had the plague, like, what are the plagues of Egypt? Because, like, right? we already had the pandemic, now apparently it's the locusts descending just of every variety. Yes. So... We, like, Pharaoh, you've done bad. Can you yeah. fix it? Yeah. Flying spiders. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it either. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I hope they don't make it to New York City. I hope they, like, stay upstate or something. And yeah, like, too. maybe the, the 
the buildings are too tall for them to parachute in. That could be true, but they they do apparently like urban environments. Fuck a duck. I'm just glad to know that they're not poisonous because if I saw one of those in the wild and had not read about this, I 100% would think that thing's going to kill me. Yeah, yeah. That looks like something from... Australia where everything tries to kill you. Well, when I first read the headline, I didn't know how big these giant parachuting spiders were, and all I could think of was, like, the fucking video from Australia where there's the spider on the wall that's, like, the size of a oh, pony. yeah. And I, like, just was like, maybe that's what they're talking about, because giant Joro parachuting spider sounds like the, what that would call that thing. Yeah. And... That, I mean, those things are like the size of a small pony. Like, those are, oh my god. And apparently, I think they're called hunter spiders, are the ones we're talking about. And okay. they are, if those are the ones I'm thinking of, maybe, maybe I got the wrong spider. It doesn't matter. But the ones that get in are not usually poisonous. Like, they're like daddy long legs. The fangs are too small to, like, mm -hmm. get a human. So they're just, like, scary. Yeah. And I'm like, it's too big. I, I, it would it's kill like, me in fright. Like, the no. One guy, the <laughs> one guy who, like, is on, the, the internet thinks is much older than he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, his video on that was like, nope, that he lives there now. Like, this is your house. Yeah, like, I'll what? move out. It's like, cool. Yeah. Like, you win. That, that spider has a job and a mortgage <laughs> and now a house. And now my house. Yeah. Like, so. Enjoy. Okay. I'm gone. I feel like our political leanings are probably quite obvious from, yeah. <laughs> from the shit that we talk about on yeah. this, but, like, we don't necessarily get into, like, heavy political, like, straight-up political yeah, stuff Yeah, I feel like a it's whole all, lot. Like, social issues. Yeah, so. but, like, I just hope that this country is not fucking stupid enough to elect a president who is a convicted felon. Yeah. Like, it, because that is just, no matter what your political ideology is, that is just fucking stupid. The list of it's things. Just, like, the, the... Well, yeah, there's a long list. It's, it, it's longer than a CVS receipt. Like, <laughs> it, there's no questioning, like, that the man is corrupt and immoral and... Unhinged. And... Probably mentally ill and delusional and drug addict and shits his pants and it's just, rapist. Yeah. Raper. Yeah, exactly. Just a piece of shit um, by any standard. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely bad shit and saying that, like, people still continue yeah. to support that. Um, but it's one that, like... The only thing that makes sense to me in that is the knowledge that people are fucking selfish, or not everybody, but a lot of people are selfish, and things don't matter until it happens to them. And then it's like, oh shit, suddenly, like the back to the trad wives, they yeah. suddenly realize this is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like the, the same thing with the trad wives, like suddenly like having feminist ideologies and not even realizing it's feminism. <laughs> like, it doesn't, like, compute for some people until it happens to them, and then it's like, oh, Oh, wait, that's fucked up. That's really bad. People should have the right to choose what they do and have happen to their own bodies. Fucking shocking. Yeah. The study showed, it was, you know, like a graph mm -hmm. of age of women, age of men, and it was like a bar graph tracking, like, the age, uh, you know, at 20, what age do you find most attractive? All the way through, like, you know, 20 to 70 or whatever. Yeah. And women tend to stick along a line of that they find, you their know, age their age attractive. Just, you know, yeah. follows the line. Men, however, tend to stay in a small range, range that is unchanging. Their entire lives. Yeah. You want to take a guess at the age range? 20 to 28. 20 to 22. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. 
20 to 22. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of, oh. Yeah. So like, not even 21 to 24, like legal drinking age. And I don't know if this was a worldwide, if this was a America, if this was so, I don't have, like, yeah, know, the data yeah. backing this up is, right. is you don't, you don't it's have not that. great, you but. You don't have the abstract of the paper it was yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Um, but knowing that that information exists in any capacity, gross. I mean, not surprising. No, it's not it's surprising. So gross. But one of the things that uh, this article brought up was that it's women aren't allowed to age. Mm-hmm. So you'll see, like, she brought up an example of Julianne Moore, who's fucking gorgeous. Yeah. But they still airbrush her to look like she's 20. Yeah. And in real life, she doesn't... Look like that. Yeah. Nobody looks like Nobody that. Nobody looks like that. She's... Uh, how old is she now? She's... She's in her 50s, I think. So Julianne Moore is 63. <laughs> and looks fucking amazing. And... But also, like... Especially, uh, we've seen it in such a short, like the, uh, such a short amount of time, um, the, what we associate the look to the age has changed so quickly. Like, right. you see, like, there's so many memes, there's so many videos that people do, um, I've seen a million of them showing, like, especially that the go-to is the cast of Cheers. Oh, yeah. We're all, like, in their, like, 20s and 30s. Yeah. And they all look like 40s and 50s yeah. to, like, our standard. Julianne Moore, who's 63, like, yeah. in the 1980s, it, Wilford Brimley was 50. Like, well, like, like, look at the Golden Girls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, well, and I saw a thing with the Golden Girls, like, a big component of it with aging, um, and, like, the change in aging is hair. hair. They did, like, they, have you seen the thing yeah, where they, they like, put, like, J-Lo's hair on yeah, all Blanche? The <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh, I get it. Okay, yeah. Um, I know, know, but fucking, you've got, like, Halle Berry out here with her freaking six-pack. There's also that kind of shit. Yeah, so. like Jennifer Aniston. Like, I know. The, yeah, I mean, talk about goals. Have you seen the thing... The meme on Instagram where they airbrush males. Oh man, my um, gosh. Men's magazine covers the way they airbrush women's. They look crazy. So crazy. And it's just like we're so conditioned to, to like. See women like see that. See women yeah. like that. Yeah. Which goes back to like why part of the reason why 60 year old men are picking the 20 year old women is because 6 year old women like Julianne Moore don't quote-unquote, look their age. That's a whole different conversation. Right. We were talking yesterday about, like, all the, like, s s gross celebrities that are dating, like, 19 and 22-year-olds. Yeah. Um, Anthony Kiedis is, like, the main perpetrator mm -hmm. that I'm up in arms about right now. Just to put... So his girlfriend's 19. He's yep. 61. Without it even being super, like, trashy, like, he could be her grandfather. Yeah. Yeah, no, he totally could, and, like, I just wonder, like... She's a teenager. That's a child. Like, has he even put out any albums in her lifetime? <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah, like, like, does she even know who he is, really? Being 19 and having, like, a friendship with someone who was significantly older, it was always a mentor position. It was, like... Or like, a work friend, because... Well, yeah, but, like, even then, it was, like, a work friend who... It was still, like, a mentor position, because the age gap was so large that that's just what naturally happened. You weren't, like... Jen, I can't even understand what the what the kids that are 19 are saying anymore <laughs> with their slang and shit. Like, I'm like, huh? So... Yeah, like, how do you, how, how do, do you, you and communicate? Like, yeah. He's using the wrong emojis, for I, sure. Well, he's using emojis, and apparently a millennial's overuse emojis. That's, that's another, what? socks, wallets, and overuse of emojis. Okay, well, everyone can fuck right off, <laughs> because I'm keeping my wallet. Um, I'm going to be really, I'm excited to see if, 
this sock trend continues after this summer because I feel like it's really come to a head this year. Yeah. And they're all going to have fucking sock tans, which is yeah. why we came up with the no-show socks in the first place. Exactly. So I'm going to... I Like, is everyone just so on the self-tanner trend, on the self-tanner boat? Which, like, is better for you anyway. Yeah. But, like, I feel like on your legs, it's really hard to like, not get, like, at least a little Yeah, like, sock if you're line. out and about, I mean, you know, sunscreen and all that, it won't be as crazy as they used to be in yeah. the like, 80s and 90s, but... For sure, that was one of the reasons. Because that was what I was like, that's why we went there, right? Yeah. I mean, I do like it because I have always wanted to have a little bit of sock showing with, like, my high-top Converse and stuff like that yeah. just because of the way it rubs. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. So um, I'm super happy about that being trendy because I'm like... Cool. I oh, me too. My, like, <laughs> I bought like a nine pack of socks and I'm yeah. like so happy with it. Oh, I saw a funny joke. We can bring it full circle because Leonardo DiCaprio is like the premier. Oh he is like the poster child for like dating underage women. Not underage, but like under his age women. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Also, side note, those photos of him with his new girlfriend are just so tragic. Like, he looks like her dad. Yeah. Like, no joke. Not, not, yeah. And he, he, he's, like, reading his phone, and he's got, like, the down his nose, like, squinty. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's I don't even think that's his most recent girlfriend, but, so, like, I don't, I think he looks older now. Okay. But, um, yeah, like, anyway. So, like, the conversion into Jack Nicholson is, is almost complete. So close. His Pokemon evolution is almost done. Yeah. 